Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to pick up where we left off by adding a new widget area to our templates. Now, we've added a new widget area to our theme. It's going to work. We could throw a whole bunch of uh, widgets into this. In fact, let's just add a tag cloud for fun. Let's just add a whole bunch of stuff just so we have this uh, for when we actually get this uh, to display here. So we have all these things in our widget area. You'll notice if we refresh, they're going to stay there. So uh, they have now all been added. However, simply by browsing to our website, you will not see any of that stuff show up anywhere. And we want to change that, right? And what we want to do is we want to add this widget area to the very bottom of this page. But we're going to want to keep it into this main area of content here, but uh, just below our posts. So if you remember, we talked a little bit about the loop, and it looped around and got all of our posts and displayed them out here. Um, if you go into your inspect element and look at your code, you can see we have a series of articles and you can see that there's a comment that's, uh, you know, it's got a, uh, a pound and then content. And so we want this to be within this content div or just essentially within this primary div, basically anywhere inside of here. Now we want to be able to find this template and then add the code we need to make sure that shows up. So let's take a look at our template files. And if you remember before, our template is living in WP content uh, slash uh, themes and then slash 2014 child. And then these are the pages that we have. Notice we have index page no sidebar, these are the ones that we've modified. So if we come into our index.php file here and we scroll down, you'll see that primary div and that content div. We want this to live inside of our content here uh, because that's this, the styling that's applied. And inside of our content, we basically have this loop that's just gonna be getting all of our posts. You saw when we were inspecting that inside of our content, we just have a bunch of articles so we want this widget area to be directly after the articles. Now we can scroll down here and you'll see this helpful comment that's showing us that this is the end of the content div. We can confirm that this is going to show up just by writing a big old test. I'm gonna put this in like an, an H1, <laughs> just so it shows up nice and, nice and bright. We're going to absolutely delete this before we do anything else. But let's come in here and refresh and we scroll down, you'll see our big H1 test that's inside of this content area. So how do we display our widgets? Well, it's actually uh, a very simple one line of code. But what it is, is it's really just a shorthand way of writing an if statement. And it's actually really nice and easy if you need to write little one-liners. So for this particular thing, we hardly have to write anything um, except for what the, um, the content is. So what we can do here is we can type uh, bracket or um, less than and question mark PHP because what we're gonna be doing is opening up a PHP code area and we're gonna be writing PHP. So you close that with a question mark greater than sign just like that. And in between these two, uh, you know, ends beginning and end is where we're going to write our line of PHP. Now what this is going to do is it's going to say if there is content in this widget. So if this widget area has content, then show it. Otherwise, don't show it, okay? So what we can say is if, and then parentheses, and inside of our if, we can say dynamic underscore sidebar, and then a uh, parentheses here because this is a function, and we're gonna be passing it the string of the name, uh, and when I say name, I mean the ID of our widget area. So if you come back to your functions.php, 
You'll note that we had our ID as level up new widget area, all lowercase with underscores. And we're going to paste that in there between quotes. So this is passing this dynamic sidebar. Now, what we can then say outside of the parentheses is colon, else, colon, and if. Now, what's not important is this stuff at the end because this else and end if is basically saying otherwise show absolutely, like if this sidebar exists, show it, otherwise show nothing, and then end the if statement. So while this code might seem a little confusing, don't worry about it. It's doing something very simple and it's just saying if the sidebar exists, then uh, display it. So um, I will link to the WordPress codex where you can go ahead and read that code for yourself if you want to copy and paste it to make sure you're not messing anything up. But it's just if uh, dynamic sidebar uh, well, dynamic underscore sidebar, pass the ID. Notice how every single parenthesis I have has been matched, colon, else, colon, and if, and then close, uh, end with a semicolon, and then close our PHP statement. Okay, so we've now added a widget area, we've thrown things in the widget area, and now we've added this statement that's going to print out our sidebar. So let's refresh the page, and you'll see we have a whole host of things that we just threw in there. Uh, obviously the styling is weird because uh, we did not write any CSS to accommodate a calendar, a search bar, or a tag cloud in our main content area. But as you can see, all of it's here, and we now have official working widget area that's going to show up at the bottom of the content of the index page. Now you might be saying like, well, this is only the index page. What if I want it on the other pages, the posts, the pages, any of that stuff? Well, luckily all you have to do is copy and paste this line of code every single place you want this widget area to show up and your widgets will show up there. So that's how you add a widget area and enable widgets on your theme so you can get busy not only making your own themes and adding widgets, but you can add widgets to themes that you've downloaded and extended in case they're not doing the things that you need them to do. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the post or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter or the Level Up forum or pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. And if you feel like supporting Level Up Tuts, we have a service Level Up Pro. Right now, you just get access to download the videos and some small perks here and there, but it's really for people who want to support Level Up Tuts. We like to release these videos for free. We're going to keep all the content free. We're going to make sure these videos are free available for you on YouTube, no matter what. So if you've gotten a ton of use out of them and you feel like supporting, sign up for Level Up Pro for a year or a couple months or whatever, give back. If not, don't worry about it. Just keep watching the videos for free. Uh, that's how they're certainly intended to be. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.